You ever get commissioned to code a project, and then they lie to you about their friend being dearly departed, and then you end up busting their impersonation deal they had going on? Let's check my f about that. Don't know how many people can say that they've gone through that exact same experience, but I certainly know I can because I'm simply chill like that. Uh, in light of recent events of the guy I used to work with getting outed for just being fucking being a being a not a nice person, I decided to tell an olden tale from the distant age of July of 2024 and uh, talk about one of the DLC dramas I was in. I did it with Afro. I'll do it again. <laughs> Afro Zero is a bitch. Yeah, time for storytelling time. Also, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna show screenshots or anything, so you can just assume this entire story is fictional and that I made it up for attention. But the reason why I'm not doing that is because there is a lot of people involved. There's a lot of screenshots involved. I have a Google Doc of everything that is private for the people that were involved and the people that knew him. So those are the only people that have access to that Google Doc. Also, I don't want to ask every single person if they're okay with their name being dropped or whatever. And I also don't want to go the whole thing of being told no and then having to purposely select out screenshots that would not have their name in it and then other people that are okay with it. It's, just, it's a whole fucking ordeal. That's a pain in the ass, and plus, I don't like editing, so whatever gets me to do as less editing as possible. So the story begins in the olden ages of 2014. And 2014, 2024, what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, so if you haven't noticed already, I'm a DDLC coder. I'm most known for branching paths. I mean, I've been uploading a billion gazillion, also known as five dev commentaries for it. And I was like, okay, well, now I'm out of a job even though I wasn't getting paid in the first place. And I was like, okay, uh, I need money. And this is like one of the only things I'm okay at. I'll take your money. Uh, so I did that like quite a few months ago at, the, at that point. So, uh, but this guy, he messages me and he's like, hey, I need a coder. And I'm like, okay, sure. So we settled on the price of about, I think 60 bucks. And I was like, okay, pay me whenever. Can't work on the project immediately, but I will need to see payment before I start working on the project. And I'll start working... Uh, like Monday or whatever, it was like Friday at the time. That was agreed upon, and so about 12 hours go by, uh, he never gave me, like, uh, he never, like, asked me what my banking, banking info, he, ne he never asked me what my credit card information was. 12 hours later, I give him a, an uh, ETA on the payment, just to, just to see how that was coming along, and I shit you not, he opens with, hey, sorry, the project got canned because one of our writers is dearly departed. And obviously, I gave him my condolences. I think at the time, my grandma passed away like two months ago. So I get the I get that feeling of uh, recently going through a death. And as asshole as this may seem, there was a cynical part in the back of my brain that was like, is this is this truthful? The timing seemed a little too convenient. And also, personally, I don't see the the logic behind canning an entire project because one of the writers passed away now there's obviously like a little more factor or some factors involved there's a bit of context that could be needed you know maybe the 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 project was started by this writer or maybe the uh the writer was the head writer and also kind of the backbone of the project and whatever but none of that context was ever given to me so i just kind of if eh. so i ended up asking a uh, a friend of mine that happened to be commissioned by the uh by the way i'm gonna call start calling the uh the guy the not so nice guy that potentially led i'm gonna call him the bad guy because uh i i don't know fucking names man uh, so I asked my friend, who happened to be commissioned by the bad guy, if uh, they were told if the if one of the bad guy's friends happened to have uh, been dearly departed. And so they did a bit of snooping around the server, and no mention of it ever happened. No mentioning of the project being canned in general had been mentioned. So I was like, okay, that's a little suspicious. They sent me the entire server list, because uh, I forgot to mention, the, uh, the bad guy had like a mod team uh, for the mod, so... He had like a, he had a lot of people hired, so I can I can see why he didn't hire me. Shit, I mean, with the amount of people that he hired, he had like maybe fifteen people working on his project. So I went through the uh, the list and I found one of the found one of the coders that uh, that was also in the the DDMC Discord server, so I could easily contact them. And I asked them the same thing if they were told that their project was canned and that one of the writers was dearly departed. And I got the same answer of what? 
No. So I was like, okay, looks like the guy had lied to me and uh, hurts my feelings. Um, I didn't really do anything because, like, I know, but it's not like... I mean, I think I talked to the guy about it and I was like, hey, it's not cool that you lied to me. And he was very insistent on the fact that he wasn't lying. And uh, something will be mentioned a little later on in the story that may or may not be, like, the truth or not. But whatever. We move on to maybe about a week later. Uh, me and the previously mentioned friend who was commissioned by him, we were talking about something uh, unrelated. And then the topic got turned to the guy. And they just kind of casually mentioned that the bad guy tried to blackmail a writer into working for him with, for no pay. The little story, the little lore, uh, the codex pages behind that one. Person that he was blackmailing, like, sided with a group of people that were saying not-so-nice things about him. Some, I think, if I recall, could be completely wrong on this. Like, they alleged that the guy was a pedophile and that the guy was just an asshole in general. And then that, the blackmail victim, ended up siding with the people. And then when the bad guy found out, he was like, okay, well, if you're going to do me like that, you're going to work on my project for free. And if you don't do that, I am going to send the screenshots to the head moderator of the DDMC. The blackmail failed um, fucking horribly. And I think, I don't know if the bad guy ever sent the screenshots to the head mod. I know that they were, I don't think they were ever friends, but I do know that they talked, the, the bad guy and the head mod, so... I don't really know what happened there. Obviously, the, the the blackmail victim never got banned or anything. So, yeah, blackmail fucking fell flat on its face. It failed. So I ended up contacting another moderator, not the head mod, just a, a, a mod I was chill with. And I told them about uh, a lot of the stuff that was happening, that this guy was doing this and that, and that uh, he was, you know, just kind of being an asshole, and that he possibly lied about the whole dearly departed thing and the whole blackmail thing. And it turns out that the blackmail victim, I believe, had uh, talked to the to the mod team about this so the mod team was already aware of the guy but when i told them about the whole possibly lying about the dearly departed thing that was kind of the final nail nail in the coffin you could say plus the mod team just straight up didn't like him the, they didn't like the bad guy so yeah he got banned and um i may or may not have made fun of him to his face uh i i'm an asshole like that what can i say uh i, I damn the guy kind of making fun of him for getting banned and, um, he was not a fan of that. Uh, we, for about 15, maybe, minutes, we just kind of went back and forth, also known as, uh, he was whining like a little bitch, and I was just making fun of him for getting banned. Randomly, he just tells me about the fact that he is a miner and has a not-safe-for-work Discord server. Like, I shit you not, there was no mention of not safe for work mentioned uh, in anything we were talking about prior. And then he just randomly sends me a screenshot of a not safe for work server he owned. He told me that he was 13 for some fucking reason. And, uh, and I guess this was his, uh, his big win over me. He was a 13 year old and he, he's a porn addict. I don't really get how that's a, how that's a dub over me, but... He then goes on to send me actual porn, um, shitty AI generated porn, and then he just sends me, uh, just randomly sends me fucking, and I'm gonna be real, I'm still not doing too well from seeing that, it's fucking disgusting, surprise, surprise, and I think the worst part about it, aside from seeing it in the first place, is, uh, <laughs> He tried to allege that I was a pedophile for just merely looking at the image that he sent me that I very much did not want to see that immediately made me uh, a Diddy Disciple. And he also tried to like preface that I was a Diddy Disciple by saying that I downloaded the image and he had like a Discord thing that made it to where he could see who downloads images I looked that up. I never saw anything like that. I don't think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure he was bullshitting me there to, like, scare me or whatever. He, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, no, I can't believe I forgot this. This is the funniest part of it. He tried to say that he is allowed to be in possession of it because he is a minor. I made a whole fucking video back in, like, 2018 of why you can't do that. There was also a whole lot of misunderstanding of his age. He said that he was 13, 
But the friend that I talked about earlier said that he was most likely 17 or older because of the things that he talked about. Like he mentioned how he had a job and how he had a, a car that he was paying everyone with and that kind of shit. When you kind of look back at it, it does really seem like a minor just kind of not just kind of assuming how adults do day-to-day -day shit. I still don't know his age to this day. I don't know if he's 13. I don't know if he's 17. I'm assuming he, if I had to guess, the guy is like maybe a maximum of 16, if I'm being generous. 13 does seem in the proper ballpark, so. So after all this nasty shit, I make the Google Doc, and I shit you not, at like 6 in the morning, God, God knows why I only got three hours of sleep that day. <laughs> and uh, I wake up and uh, fucking he's on he's 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 chatting about dumb shit. And uh, my other friend, uh, the, the, the friend I mentioned earlier, luckily they were on winter break during all this. Yes, winter break in July. They live on the other side of the world. But the the bad guy tries to like intimidate me further by alleging that he has a highly popular Twitch account and that he makes a lot of money so i was like okay so i click on the twitch streamers account that he sent because he like he linked a uh, a twitch account the twitch account he linked had around a million followers on twitch and also quite a few social medias attached so i'm like okay i'm sure this is you i ended up contacting the twitch streamer i messaged i emailed him and I um, messaged his Twitter, and I also like joined his Discord server to see if I could contact a mod there to see if I can get in contact with the streamer. But fortunately enough, and really surprising to me, the Twitch streamer actually responded to me fairly quickly. I'm talking like he 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 got back to me in like ten minutes, some crazy shit like that. And he was like, "Hey, no, that's not me." And it also turned out that uh, the uh, that the Twitch streamer has been dealing with an impersonation problem. And it also turns out that the bad guy that I've been talking to is the guy that the Twitch streamer was talking about who was impersonating him. <laughs> the uh, bad guy also sent me like this TikTok account that he actually, that that is the, not the actual Twitch streamer's account, it is an actual account that the bad guy ran. But he did it to make it seem like it was, it was, it was an impersonation account. He tried to make it and try to pass it off like it was a alt account that he was just posting uh, stream highlights to and that kind of shit. Uh, surprise, surprise, he wasn't. But the funniest part about all this, and the funniest part, and the, the best part, is the Twitch streamer says, Hey, get me in a call with this guy, and I want to talk to him. So I make a group chat with the streamer and the bad guy, and we wait like 10 minutes for the bad guy to come online. And when he does, I shit you not, I could sense from God knows where he lives, I could sense this shit like, like Dr. fucking X, I could sense him shitting his pants. He does end up joining the call, and the call for the, for the first part of it is pretty much just the Twitch streamer revealing how he knows pretty much everything about the bad guy i'm talking down to home address because he had like an ebay link to his discord account or whatever so the guy knew his address and all that shit and like the school he went to and he knew like every account that he owned that impersonated him and all that shit so this is a good wake-up call if you're an asshole on the internet i'm sure there's i'm sure there's a lot of breadcrumbs about me around you can find out where i live honestly i would not be surprised if uh so the guy um <laughs> Uh, he verbally shits his pants, I guess, and he's like, yeah, yes, yes, I'll never do any of this again, I'm so sorry, and that kind of shit. He was also given, like, a like a 24-hour deadline to, like, change every single social media account he owned to make sure it had nothing to do with him. And, um, so, and then it, it becomes my turn to speak, and then I, I shit you not, if you've seen me go off on Fortnite, you've seen me get mad before, but this, I, I cranked this up a couple notches. I went fucking ham on the guy for the fucking hell that he was putting everyone through and all the bullshit that he was putting everyone through. And I called him out on so many things that I didn't even touch on because because I'm not showing any screenshots. There's a lot I'm forgetting, but but I went ham on him for so much shit. And I, I shit you not, the Twitch streamer was fucking cheering me on and not cheering me on, but he was like, oh shit, he was a uh, I, I guess you can kind of say he was hyping me up a little bit in the background not too much notable happened afterwards uh but i did i did talk to the bad guy a little bit afterwards he tried to do this whole rebrand thing where he was like oh in two weeks i'm gonna do something big and i'm gonna do something bad uh when those two weeks came he did absolutely nothing uh <laughs> 
But um, I think there was even some moments where I was uh, I, <laughs> I sent like this the the Google Doc I previously mentioned to every single person on his mod team. Didn't uh, the only people that were left out were people that I wasn't in the uh, DTLC modding server in. So some people I couldn't contact because they wouldn't accept my friend request. And um, I there was he had this friend that uh, that got just straight up gaslit into believing I was the bad guy and just fucking manipulated with the dumbest shit ever and uh the uh the bad guy was like seeing all of the screenshots between me and his by the way the guy that he gaslit and manipulated was already his friend in the first place so like good fucking job you you, you became friends with your already existing friend uh, the the bad guy was like gloating how he was seeing all of the screenshots between me and his friend when nothing of substance was told i think maybe the most i told him is that i told every single person on the mod team that he was not a good person and that he sent me illegal images so i don't know what the gloat was there but he did this whole rebrand thing that was worthless he's still not he's still banned i mean he might he might he probably made an alt account and got back in the community but um I don't know, safe to say, uh, his, uh, whatever project he was working on before is in the trash. And I reign supreme that day. <laughs> so yeah, really dumb story, but, uh, wild, wild time of living there. Uh, <laughs> this all happened in the span of a week, by the way, with most of everything happening on one specific day. So, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, I guess that's the end of this video. Uh... This, this is one of the dumbest fucking things that's ever happened to me, but goddamn, was it interesting.